Welcome to the Clearbrush Productions. So what we have here today in my studio is the newest offering from Huion, which is a new Camus Pro 22, or you can call it the successor of the previous generation Camus GT221 Pro, which I already have in my studio, and you can find the review right here. It was already a great monitor pen tablet, but we are here to see how Huion has improved this machine to make it a smarter choice for artists around the world. According to the specifications, the new monitor display comes with an improved color gamut of 100% sRGB and the highlight of the whole package is the new batteryless pen and I'm sure that everyone is looking forward to it because I guess this is the first time Huion has come up with a batteryless pen with a monitor pen tablet. The package also comes with a little but extra accessories. We will go through every detail and put this machine through a test to understand how this machine is better than its predecessor. Or is it really better? Huion is calling the new batteryless pen an improved version of the previous pen. So I'll do some random drawings to see how this pen actually works in the real world. As I told you, the new display comes with the new improved color gamut of 100% sRGB. But is it really better than the previous one? We can only compare by keeping both the tablets side by side. And finally the price. Is it still worth your money? You'll get all these answers in the next 8 minutes. Okay, so let's start with the design of the whole thing. The design as you may have guessed, is still the same. On the lower side of the monitor, you can see the Huion logo. We have this 21.5 inch LCD display surrounded by these rectangular shaped buttons. There are some smaller buttons present on the top of the tablet for power and display setting modes. You can manipulate the display modes with these buttons, but we will talk about that later in detail. Earlier, I was expecting the design to become a little edgier and sleeker, but Huion has gone with the philosophy of utility over design. You might think that the bezels on this monitor pen tablet are huge, but there is a reason behind this. These thick bezels let you support your hand on the side without disturbing the shortcut buttons. The machine is still on the heftier side, which makes it more stable on the desk while drawing. On the back side, we have ports for an HDMI cable, power cable, USB cable and a VGA cable. It connects with both Windows and Mac very easily. Huion Canvas Pro 22 comes with this stand which is fully adjustable. You can adjust this stand and hence the tablet at multiple levels. Coming back to the design, these side shortcut buttons are on either side of the monitor and are fully customizable which makes them user friendly for both right-handed and left-handed artists. Still my favorite thing is the slide bar for quick zoom in and zoom out. The screen looks matte which gives it a very natural feel of drawing on a sheet of paper. Talking of drawing reminds me the highlight of this whole package, the batteryless pen. It is still holding an astonishing 8192 pressure levels to make smooth strokes and contours. The design is slightly different from the previous generation. As you can see, they have added a grip which actually improves the way you can hold your pen. The two buttons on this pen are very handy to use while drawing and they are quite clicky in nature and they have a very good response as well. This new pen has a better sensing height of 12mm than that of 10mm of the predecessor. Now the parallax. It generally means the distance between the actual nib of the pen and the cursor. Parallax on this machine is negligible and after proper monitor and pen calibration, it can be improved further. If I look at the pen of the previous generation, I still need to charge it. But the new batteryless pen is all hassle free. No battery inclusion in this pen makes it more practical and long lasting, which may last forever until you break it. The pen now comes with this donut shaped pen holder which holds the extra 10 nips inside it. A metal ring is also included in the center to remove the used nip from the pen. It has a good grip underneath which doesn't let it slide on the desk much. Now let's jump to the display or the monitor. It is a 21.5 inch full HD LCD display which is pretty big and I personally find it very useful while drawing as I draw while moving my hand across the screen for bigger and smoother strokes. You can also adjust the display modes between cool, warm and user mode to make it useful for various purposes. I generally like to keep it on a warmer side as it is easier on my eyes and then the color also matches more to my iMac screen which has also been set to a warmer side. To keep it on a fair scale, I have clicked these shots for you to see how different these two displays are from each other. On the left, I have the new Canvas 22 and on the right, I have the previous generation GT221 Pro and in the middle is the 5K iMac. Practically, both the displays look quite similar to the naked eye but it makes slight difference while working on a particular kind of a project. That could be a movie, an animation for television or a print design. The monitor has a new color gamut of 100% sRGB which looks nice. 
but the resolution is still 1080 by 1920 pixels. Huion could have made this monitor better by increasing the resolution to a 2K or a 4K, but that would just mean paying more for something which is just not necessary for most of the people around here. I have been using the earlier model for months now and all I needed to do was to adapt to the bigger screen and the bigger working area. You can adjust all these 10 buttons or shortcut keys in the Huion setting panel. I like to keep my Photoshop hotkeys and shortcuts assigned to these 10 buttons. These shortcut keys make the workflow faster and easier. The pen sensitivity can also be adjusted in the settings panel for a more personalized user experience. Okay, now let's just draw something to understand more about its performance and user interface. The pen is really super sensitive with over 8000 levels of pressure sensitivity. The strokes look clean and without any jitter. It is very responsive and with the extra rubber grip, I can control it better while drawing. As an accessory, Huion has given this glove with this package. You might ask why. For people like me who keep e-tables on the desk while drawing, this glove is very useful. The extra dirt and oil stuck on your palm can deteriorate your drawing experience. Also, some people have sweaty hands, so to keep your sweat and oil and dirt away from the screen, this glove has been given with the package. I think this new tablet looks exactly the same as the previous generation GT221 Pro. The design of the whole tablet is exactly the same. The material is same. Whole user interface is still the same, which is good. But what lies inside makes all the difference. So how is the whole package? I think it is great, even better than the previous one. I give the new 22 4.5 out of 5 stars. Icing on the cake is the pricing. They are giving out the new year model at exactly the same price. And under this price bracket, I guess this is the best you can get if you are looking for a digital pen tablet. And if you are one of those who are trying to buy this tablet at a special price, you can drop me an email at. So that's it for today. If you like this video, you can hit the like button and you can also subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm also going to do some sketching and drawing projects on this tablet to test it out more and I'll upload some new videos as well. To get the notification, you can also hit the bell icon. Till then, bye.